Hello and welcome. My name is Nat Knight, the Capital Markets Editor of White Knight Media. With revenues falling and costs remaining flat, banks are looking at a multitude of options in order to increase profitability. When one looks at data management, the words shared utility come up a lot in conversation. And in order to understand why, I've come into the offices of Golden Source and today I'm speaking with Prashant Kumar, who is the SVP of Business Development. Prashant, thanks very much for having me in. Maybe you could start off by giving us an overview of the state of enterprise data management and tell me why shared utilities are so topical at the moment. Data is in the limelight today. You know, it's no longer just around clearing and settlements for outtrades. Reports to regulators have to be immaculate. The, the scrutiny is high, the consequences are serious. You know, in the middle of all this, there's, there's lower pressure, there, there's serious pressure on margins, there's lower capital to be deployed. Firms have already moved uh, work to lower cost centers, the whole geographic wage arbitrage is done the whole move to the cloud for infrastructure is happening. So what next? It's around pooling common resources. It's around, it's around shared services. Of course, utilities aren't something new. Maybe you could give us a quick history of utilities and some experience you've heard today. Sure, you know, in, in the last decade or so, I can name a few. Uh, CLS in the foreign exchange space, particularly around uh, intraday settlement risk. You know, it's owned by a number of banks. Um, I can think of, uh, you know, two firms in the uh, document collection process around member onboarding. One is Clarion, one is Genpact. Uh, so we've seen a few and, they, and they've done pretty well for themselves actually. You know, one, one common thread of all these companies is that they solved a core but non-differentiating problem of, of various firms. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and that's a theme I'm seeing even amongst our clients. You know, when it comes to data management, uh, people recognize it's core but not differentiating. You mentioned some interesting examples there. With, with all this hindsight and lessons learned, what, what is the perfect kind of utility financial institutions are looking for? You know, until you have a common platform across multiple businesses, you aren't even in a position to take on a feed from a utility. You know, the second thing is certain data vendors will not even allow their content to go to a shared service. You know, in that context, you have to allow for federated rules. Certain rules get applied in the shared service, and certain rules get applied inside the bank. You know, and until you, have, until you recognize that, it's really hard to take on a shared service. Firms want to make sure that as much of the problem is solved. You know, solving 20% or 30% of the problem is not good enough. You know, utilities should aim to solve as large of the problem as they possibly can. You know, specifically when it comes to data, to just bring in a feed to your doorstep and walk away. It's always a piece of the problem, it's not the entire problem. So I think banks, again, you know, back to the uh, original problem of core but not differentiating, clean it as really essential. Uh, just bringing in data alone is not good enough. You know, a utility has to solve a larger piece of the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, and what do you think is blocking the adoption of data utilities by financial services firms? You know, first of all, a large firm needs to have a common platform across multiple lines of businesses. You know, if a platform cannot scale to support multiple lines of businesses with millions and millions of securities, you know, that in itself is a non-starter. Uh, the next thing is, uh, Shared services have to recognize that all vendors will not allow their content to go to a shared service. Certain feeds would come into a shared service and certain would come into the bank directly. Uh, this creates a need for federated rules. And until shared services recognize that, it's very hard to move forward. You know, the appreciation for uh, the fact that there are subtle differences in rules between each bank. You know, there is no one-size-fits-all. If a utility comes around and says it's one-size-fits-all, that usually never flies. If the infrastructure within the bank and the infrastructure and the shared service is different, you now have multiple teams supporting the same infrastructure. In the perfect world, you'd have the same kit on both sides of the wall, thereby the same technology team can support both sides, and that scales much better. Okay, I think we're definitely gonna be hearing more about shared utilities in the future. Sadly, that's all we have time for today. Prashant, thanks very much for your time. Thank you to Golden Source as well. Thank you for coming over. And I hope you, the audience, enjoyed that as well.